know about magic. I... I always called it The Shining. The tragedy of the Torrance family is one of the most beloved horror stories ever told. The Shining is one of Stephen King's biggest hits and Stanley Kubrick's adaptation has beguiled viewers for decades. But these two versions of the story have always been seen as very different sides of the same coin, as Kubrick's film deviates majorly from King's novel. So, for a sequel, how do you stay true to one without betraying the other? It turns out the answer is to get Haunting of Hill House's Mike Flanagan, a great cast, and a whole heap of cool psychic set pieces, and it just works. After a prologue dealing with the direct aftermath of The Shining, Dr. Sleep picks up with an adult Dan Torrance. After years spent as an alcoholic drifter using booze to dull both his horrific memories and his powers, Dan becomes aware of Abra Stone, a young girl who shines even more powerfully than him. But he's not the only one to notice her talent, though. The True Knot, a cult of quasi-immortal hunters that feed on people who shine, pick up on Abra's power as well. Dr. Sleep is one of the scariest Stephen King adaptations in years, thanks in large part to the formidable True Knot. In contrast to The Shining's villain, which, despite working through Jack, was really the Overlook Hotel itself, Dr. Sleep benefits and stands apart by having physical antagonists, with more concrete goals and methods for Dan and Abra to battle. Get out of my head! Get out! The story, which spans decades and focuses on multiple characters, is a total departure from The Shining's claustrophobic setting. That narrative breathing room gives Dr. Sleep a lot of opportunities to do its own thing, and when it's forging its own path, the movie rarely falters. Writer-director Mike Flanagan's eye for bringing metaphysicality to life on film has long been one of his greatest assets, and it serves him well again here. Dr. Sleep doesn't quite approach the singular sense of unreality in Kubrick's film, but Flanagan's methods of visually communicating what The Shining is and how it can work through its various hosts provide a source of constant unease and danger. The twists and turns Flanagan mines out of that power both deepen our understanding of what it means to shine and keep the film interesting throughout its considerable 2 hours and 33 minutes. It's when Dr. Sleep drifts away from the evocation of The Shining to straight-up recreation that Flanagan starts to overplay his hand. Play with us forever and ever. To be clear, not all of Dr. Sleep's shining love goes amiss. Scenes in which shot composition, edits, and sound cues are reused feel like rewarding nods to Kubrick's film. Even Carl Lumley's brief appearance as Dick Halloran ends up being effective, with Lumley giving us just enough Scatman Crothers to make this feel like the kindly Halloran we know without feeling like a full-on impersonation. The Overlook Hotel also has a part to play in the sequel, and again, it's a mixed bag. The artistry of these scenes is undeniable, with the sets painstakingly recreating Kubrick's Overlook and often being similarly photographed too. But the scenes which take place at the hotel suffer from some egregious moments of incongruity, like when a character not present for The Shining's events witnesses an iconic scare from that film with bemusement rather than horror. Dr. Sleep's third act does deserve credit for how it reconciles King's novel and Kubrick's film. It's clear throughout that Flanagan has an equal respect for both versions, evident in his clever repurposing of beats from King's Shining that Kubrick changed. When it's focusing on the new things it brings to the table, Dr. Sleep is consistently terrifying, visually impressive, and soulful in equal measure. Though it may get a little heavy-handed and tonally confused in its reverence for Stanley Kubrick's Shining in the home stretch, the vast majority of the film succeeds in using the Torrance family's pain to tell a story of coming to terms with the past. No matter which version of The Shining you prefer, fans of both will be finding things to enjoy about Dr. Sleep forever. And ever, and ever, and ever. For more reviews, check out what we thought of Terminator Dark Fate and Zombieland Double Tap. And as always, be sure to follow and subscribe wherever you like to watch IGN.